Hi, this is Jerry Jenkins. We're now going to cover what's called the collection classes. And we're going to start with the uh, what's called the list class. And the list class is very powerful. Uh, when you're using it simply, it looks like arrays from Java or C++. But unlike arrays, you can insert into the middle of a list. You can delete items from the middle of a list. Uh, you can expand the list automatically. It is not at a fixed size. And a real important aspect is that uh, you can put anything in the list of mixed types. They don't have to all be the same type. So list is an ordered collection of zero or more references to Python data objects. Uh, that are written as common delimited values and closed in square brackets. Let me show you one. So if I do uh, square bracket and do 1, comma, 99, comma, true, comma, uh, hello. Uh, this would make a list of these items. And so if I hit enter, you'll see when you evaluate a list, you get the list back. Uh, but we can do things like assign a variable. So we'll say x is equal to the same list. Let me copy and paste to do that. Copy here, and we'll paste it after the x. Now x has that list, so if you hit x, you'll see that list. You can index into a list just like an array in Java or C++. So it can say x at location 0, and it uses zero-based indexing like Java and C++. So that ref that gets out the first element of the list. I can say x of, uh, let's see, 0, 1, 2, 3. We have th the last element is number 3. That should get hello. If you try to go beyond the list, uh, you get an error. You can change the elements of a list. So I can say x sub 3 instead of hello. Let's set it to a float. And then we'll look at x. And you can see it's changed the last element of a list. And just like uh, in C++ and Java, if you go outside the list and try to do an assignment, you get an error as well. Uh, so just that part, they look like arrays. And so how do you expand them? And we'll look at that. So let's go back and do a little thing here. So here's a list. It's very useful to have a to use a list, set a, a variable to point to the list. And so here's the operators you can do. So first there's indexing, which we just explained. You can index and use it to the left of a, an assignment statement to change a in, an element in the list. You can just use it as an expression and get the value fetched out of the list at a certain index. Indexing starts at zero. A concatenation, you can add to list. So let's add x to x. And you'll see it, it just concatenates the two lists into a longer list. I can concatenate, uh, uh, let's see, one, two, three and add that to a list of 9, 10, 11. And you see we get a new list that has all the elements combined. And then there's repetition. We'll concatenate uh, any number of times. So it's like doing plus with a bunch of lists that are all the same. So if I want to make a, uh, if I have a list that's 1, 2, 3, and I multiply it by 9, I'm going to get a list that has one, two, three, one, two, three, repeated nine times. Uh, this is very useful if you want to initialize in a list to a certain size. So if I want a list that's set initially to all zeros, that's 10 long, uh, that would make it. Uh, so that's the plus and multiply. Membership will ask is an item in the list. So let's look at our X list again. And let's look, is uh, the value 25 in x? And it says it's not. But we can say is 99 in x? It will say it is. We can say is 9.11 in x? And it says it is. So basically, this is an operator you can use in an if statement or anywhere you want that returns a Boolean and it evaluates is a certain value in a list. So that's the n operator. The length is actually a function rather than a, 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 a method. So to use length, 
You can use length to find out the length of any list. And so if we say length of x, we see it tells us it's four long. Uh, now you notice, I just want to point this out, these are operations on any sequence. List is one thing that gives you a sequence of numbers. And all of these operators are available to anything that gives you a sequence of numbers. And we're going to learn a lot about uh, different ones. There's range, there's what's called an iterator, there's a generator, there's tuple, and there's so there's a lot of things that give you a range of numbers. Now this last one is called slicing, and this is to extract part of the list. And to make it useful, let me show you a slide here. So slicing, you give a list, and then you do square brackets as if you're going to do an index, but this includes a colon somewhere in this expression. And these are different expressions you can do. So you can say start to end, it goes from the start index to one up to but not including the end index, so n minus one. If you say start colon and you leave off the end, it starts wherever you want and goes to the end of the list. If you leave off the start position, it always starts at the beginning of the list and goes to whatever you specify as the end. And if you just do a colon with no starter end, it makes a copy of the whole list. Now you can also use negative numbers in either starter end and they refer to counting backwards from the end. So the last element of a list is minus one, and the second to last is minus two. So if you say a minus one, it gets the last item of the list. If you say uh, minus two to the end of the list, it removes the last two items, it gives you the last two items of the list. And if you say uh, colon to minus two, it gives you everything except the last two items. So let's do a, a few of these. Uh, so let's look at x again. Uh, now to make this simple, let's make a y, and we're just going to set it to a bunch of numbers. So we'll say 1, comma 2, comma 3, comma 4, comma 5. Okay, so let's start with y. Uh, slice uh, from 2 to the end of the list. So 2, so we have uh, 0, 1, 2. So 2 is the element that has the 3 value. So it goes from 3 to the end of the list. Let's do y from 1 to 3. So 3 was the uh, element 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this should actually do from uh, 2 and 3. There it is. So one is the second element in the list, and three is the fourth element in the list. But it doesn't include the fourth element list, it goes up to, but not including it. And so let's do uh, x at uh, minus one. So we get the last item in the list, x minus two will give us, uh, well, we didn't do that, right? Let's do minus one colon. It actually will give us the same thing. It gives us a list with the last item. So all of these return a new list. So if I do x at minus 2 to the end of the list, we get the last two items of the list, and so on. OK. So here's the first uh, example you'll see in the book where you interact with the book. And uh, so it has act, 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 active code three, and it explains what it does down here. So it creates a list with one, two, three, four. It says multiply the list by three and it prints it. And then it sets item two to 45 and prints the list. So let's run it. And what you can do whenever you see this, it may have some instructions, but in this case, you can just play around with it. So this changes, it prints the first print is a, is uh, is duplicating the list three times. So, but why it did this is my list is this list, but then you're putting this list inside of another list. So what it does when you multiply a list, it 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 takes the elements of the list and repeats them and puts them into a new list. Since the element here of this list is another list, you end up with a list of three list. So that's what it repeats here. So uh, 
if you try experimenting and you remove these so now you just have the list the original list times three and you run it you'll see it just duplicates the items within the same list so it's a little subtle thing you can do here uh, now when you say my list 2 equals 45 let's run it so where does the 45 this is showing you that you're actually dealing with references to objects because what you're actually doing here is you're taking this object which is my list and duplicating it three times so you're making a new list that basically has a my list my list and my list reference and that's what it's actually repeating here so if you modify my list the 45 and then you print out this list with three items it mod it modifies the original my list and you'll see the reference to it shows up three times